Hey YouTube, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. Got two new servos, so time for servo tests again. And those are the, in the United States, super popular so-called Animos servos from Amazon. And here in Europe, they are super popular too, but they are called DS3218 or DS3218MG and DS3225MG mainly. This server, the 3225MG, is super popular for crawlers. It's a super cheap server and often available at European warehouses at Banggood where I bought it. Comes with metal servo arm and the DS3218 MG, the Animos servo. I got this from the United States. I won this servo on Driftomaniac's incline contest, or not, I did win it. My Mini C 4x4 won the sub 200 class of this contest and Richie from Driftomaniac's channel really sent this servo to me from the United States to Europe, Austria. You see it's called Animos servo from Amazon. Thanks a lot again Richie. The servos are rated the 3218MG is rated, uh, works from 4.8 to 6.8 volts and at 5 volts will pull or push 18 kilograms centimeter at 0 0.16 seconds and at 6.8 volt 21.5 kilogram at 0 0.14 second so waterproof and the same waterproof the 3225MG rated from 5 to 6.8 volt, 21 kilograms at 5 volts at 0 0.15 seconds per 60 degree and at 6.8 volt, 25 kilograms torque, kilograms per centimeter. And uh, strangely, they don't give 6 volts, what's probably the most common voltage of BECs. I will test the servos on my setup here again, also measure the amp draw and I will test them on 5 volt and at 6.8 volt to check the factory specifications. 6.8 volt, whoever will use 6.8 volt and I will test them on with 6 volts with my power supply and I will also test them on 6 volts with a Hobbywing 1080. They are said to be waterproof. Let's take a look inside. I'm interested. Both come with really nice metal servo arms. How they are built, if they are well lubricated. So let's take a look inside. So the 3218. Screws do come with O-rings for for being waterproof, nice. And yes, they are nicely lubricated. Gears are nicely lubricated, so I won't have to lubricate them anymore. Ball bearing looks good. And hopefully does it have an O-ring? And it does also come with O-rings here with rubber seals. So nice, waterproof at least a little bit. And the 3225, I hope it will, you will already see that there are rubber seals here. So probably the same. So same thing here. 
o-rings on the screws nice rubber seals on the case and nicely lubricated so thumbs up and now the servos are closed again and in the 3225 mg you see here on the pictures i soldered the plus and the minus wire to the board and connected this to a second multimeter because we had a forums discussion we want to see how much volts actually the servo receives so you can see here now i adjusted the power supply to five volts exactly and that's okay here in the servo tester five volts will arrive but in the servo only 4.37 4.38 volts arrive so that's the probably the loss of the wires and the plugs and we want to check this or i want to check this how much voltage the servo receives actually under load i did this only with the 3225 mg i want to do it with the 32 18 mg but it's interesting to see this so i will measure later on the amperage the actual amperage draw and the voltage that arrives in the servo and of course i know the voltage that i give the servo so let's prepare the setup now and then i will test the two servos ds 3225 mg metal gear servo 5 volt power supply or BEC voltage kilogram centimeter the voltage actually arriving at the servo and the amp draw measured between servo tester and servo and here is the amp draw in the power supply So this was 5 volt, now I go to 6 volt. Let's go to 6.8 volt. Okay. You see, power supply 6.8 volt, and the server also receives 6.8 volt. And now under load. large voltage drop and now with the hobbywing 1080 esc pc voltage 6 volts i also connected the leds to see if the leds are affected if the servo is under full load And now the DS3218 Metal Gear Servo, 5 volts, power supply, amp draw, amp draw at the servo, kilogram centimeter, and LED is also connected now.
Now let's go to 6 volts. Now let's go to 6.8 volt. DS3218 6.8 volt. Yes, 3218 with Hobby Wing 1080 ESC, BC voltage 6 volts. And here are the results of the DS3225 metal gear where I did also measure the voltage in the servo the results at 5 volt 6.8 volt and at 6 volt with power supply and with the hobby wing quick run 1080 ESC and at 5 volt as you can see factory specifications were 21 kilograms centimeter or 291 ounces inch and mean results were 16 kilograms centimeter and 223.6 ounces inch that's about 76 77 percent of the factory specifications it's okay if you compare it to the other servos i did already test Amptro was quite okay quite low about 2.5 amps and the voltage drop in the servo was significant so 5 volt PEC or power supply voltage and in the servo I measured only 3.3 volts and at 6.8 volt factory specifications 25 kilograms nearly 350 ounces inch and the torque was little less than 20 kilograms in mean 276 ounces inch that's nearly 80 percent of the factory specifications so that's really okay and also the voltage in the servo was much lower than the voltage that was delivered by the power supply so in the servo I measured 5.3 volts and at 6.8 volts about three and a half amps was the amp draw of the DS3225 MG and then at 6 volt that's probably the voltage most of us will use with the power supply 19.3 kilograms 268 ounces inch in mean and uh, the voltage 4.1 volt in the servo 6 volt were delivered and the amp throw was around 3 amps and with the hobby wing quick run 1080 18.3 kilograms 254 255 ounces inch in mean and 3.2 amps amp draw and the voltage measured was higher inside the servo here it was 4.8 volts And here are the results of the DS3218 MG servo. In this servo I didn't measure the voltage inside of the servo. At 5 volt with power supply factory specifications said 18 kilograms 250 ounces inch and mean was only about 13.3 kilograms 184 ounces inch so 73 74 percent of this factory specifications the amp draw was 2.3 amps so quite okay 
and at 6.8 volts factory specifications 21.5 kilograms 299 ounces inch and uh, the torque I measured was in mean 18.7 kilograms centimeter 260 ounces inch so 87 percent of the factory specifications this is really good and the amtra was around 3 amps and at 6 volts with the power supply 14.4 kilograms centimeter 200 ounces inch only so at 6.8 volts it was significantly stronger 2.6 amps amp draw and with the 6 volts of the PC of the hobby wing quick run 1080 15.8 so 16 kilograms centimeter and around 220 ounces inch and 2.7 amps amp draw so the 3225 was a little bit stronger when I delivered the power with the power supply and the 3218 was stronger when I delivered the power with the Hobby Wing 1080 PC. So both servos did really quite okay, they did good and they are probably the most popular China servos here on the market and there's a reason for this. The price is awesome and the build quality is really okay. As you have seen, uh, they have rubber seals, o-rings, they are well lubricated, waterproof and they also did quite well at 6 volts, what probably most of us will use. The 3218 around 14, 15 kilograms, 16 kilograms, 200, 220 ounces inch and draws less than 3 amps and the 3225 throws a little bit more amps, more than 3, but 18 to 19 kilogram centimeters and 255, 270 ounces inch. That's really not bad. They both come with a nice metal servo arm, so there is not a lot to complain. Of course, they did not reach the factory specifications, but honestly, nearly no servo does this that's it guys thanks for watching hope to see you in the next video i'll be back